here with Jar Burke, head coach of Presentation Brothers College. Jar, you you got over the line this year. You must be delighted with, with today's result. Yeah, absolutely. Um, schools rugby is special. Munster School Senior Cup is special. It's a historic day in the Irish sporting calendar. Um, and to actually to say that we've won it and that we're champions is, oh, it's is everything. It's is everything for the school, the wider school community, the players, their families, their parents, the teachers, the coach. It's just everything. It's uh, it's fantastic. I suppose with what happened last year as well, where you got to the final, lost the way you did to, to Crescent College, to come up this year, your first game, you lost to Christians in such dramatic fashion, and today you managed to do it in in, in dramatic fashion as well. Those, <laughs> th that second half hat, tr hat trick from James was just Phenomenal, was surreal. Yeah. Like. Well, look, I'll be honest, it was just something we spoke about. Win, lose or draw today. What happened in last year's final wasn't happening again today. It was just, that was cast iron, black and white. You know, credit to Crescent last year was superb, but we didn't we didn't give any sort of account of ourselves. And that's, that we, that we weren't going to allow that to happen today. Um, and look, to be honest, we knew if we could get 60, 65 minutes of a performance out of ourselves, that we'd be very, very difficult to beat. You know, you talk about like the atmosphere as well. I suppose the oh. battle, the battle between yourselves and, and Christians. No matter what what day it is, what cup is on offer, if there's no cup, <laughs> yeah, no. it's it's mayhem between it's Tuesday, two games. It's Tuesday afternoon here, like you know. Um, I've been involved on two two finals of Prince Christian, well, three two that were played, and they they just don't get bigger. They don't get better. Like today was phenomenal. It was. Like this, this place is, is purpose built. I've said this time and time again. You must have had six, seven thousand people here. The atmosphere was amazing, and I think present Christians probably bring the best out of one another. I don't think there's one without the other, and uh, our rivalry just continues to be what it is. And I think for me, it's it's the biggest school rivalry, the oldest school rivalry in the country. Um, a debt of gratitude owed to both sets of schools. Um, just phenomenal, phenomenal to be a part of and to be in the middle of it. To be honest, you know, it's it's, it's big moments that that define games. And you know, you're on the sideline there. You're getting turnovers. You're getting penalties. You're, you're celebrating those little moments. But then, we'll say you get the try a couple of minutes into the second half. Is there a, a worry in your head at that yeah. stage that you could get a bit complacent and <laughs> take the foot off the gas? And, and you could see shades of that. wasn't to worry. Um, like we spoke at half time, you know, I suppose the fact that we weren't well ahead at half time was probably served as well as like we had to go and score. That was the first message. The game was not won, only we're close, but we had to go and score. Uh, 12 nil. we started to be a little bit uncomposed and make some errors down in our in our twenty uh, down from our twenty two with, with a couple of turnovers opportunities to exit and we didn't and we kept giving them chances. And you can't do that to Silent like Christians. I think Ben's exit and run was a huge moment. It was a moment momentum swing um, in fairness to him you know what did he run 80 metres uh, just phenomenal I think you could feel us grow from that point once we'd gotten out we were two scores clear and the next score was going to be everything and thankfully we got it you know and you talk about we'll say big moments with big players as well I suppose as a coach how great is it when you have players the likes of Ben as you mentioned there who can, who can perform like that on the day and also Rory as the captain uh, to name just two of the the plentiful squad that you have at the moment. Yeah, I look, I, I, I simply adore each and every one of them. But yeah, uh, two special kids. Um, I nearly get emotional talking about them. It's you know, people like to talk about Ben as if they know him. They don't. He is incredible, and he's the guy that you want in your corner. You want in your team. He is so so humble, fully humility. Ask any player that trains with him, that plays with him. They want him in their team, and you saw it today. On the biggest occasions, he will rise and he will fight. Um, he was immense, and uh, I just words words fail me for for shocks, Rory or shocks as we call him. He sacrifices him, so his opportunity at an Irish jersey at, at 12, goes into eight because we need him, and becomes one of the best eights in the country. His leadership on and off the park, he is a credit to his mum and his dad, his family and to the school. He has been talismanic in every game, not just today. He has been outstanding. He's, his consistency in training, he's just, and he was a big, um, he was a big force behind the scenes between the semi and the final. He was driving standards. Um, I have to say, I was just so proud of, so proud of him, and so so impressed by him.